What's up guys, back with another educational video. This week we are talking about dairy. Is it bad for you or not? There are a lot of claims surrounding dairy. Largely I think the press and the mainstream media for dairy is somewhat positive, but due to the advent of the internet, you can find that anything is bad for you. Literally anything. We even have people now that say vegetables are bad for you. They exist. They're called carnivores. But today's episode is not about them, even though they think everything is about them. Much of the rhetoric about dairy being bad for us comes primarily from the plant-based side of the aisle. So a lot of vegans who are very much against using animals to produce food will make quite a few claims about dairy. Now, I'm not saying that this only comes from people who are vegan. In fact, paleo was very anti-dairy, if I recall, as well as some other groups that eat clean with clean having no objective definition. But with regards to dairy, some of the claims that I've heard tend to be the following. You can't digest it, it accumulates in your system, it makes you form more mucus, it's bad for fat loss, it'll impede your fat loss, it can lead to cancer, heart disease, insulin resistance, you know, all those kind of claims. So let's examine the actual research data and what it says about dairy. When it comes to mucus, there's absolutely no evidence that dairy increases mucus. I don't know like where this came from. I think people were like, oh look, it looks like pus, therefore pus and mucus. Strong science, bro, strong science. The actual science says that it doesn't increase mucus. In fact, they did a study where they gave people dairy and measured their uh, secretions of mucus. Interestingly, the people who already believed that dairy caused increased mucus reported that they felt more congested while drinking dairy. And this is the power of the placebo effect because when they actually measured it, there was no difference in the mucus secretion. Dairy does not increase mucus. That's garbage. As far as you can't digest dairy, what they're specifically usually referring to is lactose, which is the sugar present in milk in most dairy products. Lactose is less digestible by quite a few adult populations. Most kids can digest lactose well, but as we age, we lose the ability to digest quite as much. Now, much of that is because kids tend to drink more milk than adults and the lactase enzyme is inducible. Meaning if you drink less milk or eat less dairy and you're using it less, the body will simply make less of it. So then if you challenge it with a high amount of dairy, you could have gastrointestinal discomfort. Beyond that, there are some people who have lower ability to digest lactose. Certain populations, especially some Middle Eastern populations, Native Americans, African Americans, they have a pretty reduced ability to digest lactose versus say European Americans or Europeans in general. Now, that being said, if you know lactose or milk or dairy cause you digestive issues, don't drink it. That's fine. Now, you are missing out on some health benefits that we're gonna cover later, but you could probably get that through simply increasing your protein intake through other sources of high quality protein, making sure you're getting enough vitamin D and getting enough calcium. And if you do those things, you're probably getting most of the benefits of dairy. Dairy is simply just a convenient source and delicious source of vitamin D, calcium, and high quality protein. Now, with regards to cancer, it's important to keep in mind there's a lot of different cancers out there. For the vast majority, dairy really has no effect on cancer incidence. Uh, in fact, there seems to be a somewhat consistent effect of dairy intake being protective in terms of colon cancer. So that's a check mark in dairy's column in terms of being possibly protective. The one cancer that seems to come up as dairy being possibly a risk for is prostate cancer. But that effect is not always consistent in the literature and it's probably confounded by the fact that saturated fat may independently contribute to risk for prostate cancer. Now, full fat dairy has quite a bit of saturated fat in it. So what I would say is that if you're concerned about prostate cancer, maybe you limit your dairy intake or at the minimum, use a low fat or fat free version of dairy. You need to keep that in balance with, okay, if you're not eating dairy, but then you're eating a bunch of saturated fat from elsewhere, uh, are you really doing yourself a service? 
But there's other studies showing like no uh, association with like pancreatic cancer and various other cancers. On the whole, dairy seems to really have minimal effect on cancer overall, possibly a protective effect on colon cancer, possibly a negative effect on prostate cancer. It does have a beneficial effect on all cause mortality and also mortality from cardiovascular disease. We do see a reduced incidence of cardiovascular disease with people who take in more dairy. Now the one caveat to that is there was one study that showed a higher rate of coronary heart disease with increasing dairy intake. However, once again, that's probably confounded by the fact that dairy in particular, full fat dairy has quite a bit of saturated fat. If you're worried about it, just use low fat or no fat and make sure you limit your saturated fat elsewhere. If these effects of dairy were really so meaningful, you would kind of expect it to show up in some of the mortality data to have, you know, increased mortality rate amongst dairy users, but that's not what we see. Uh, if anything, there's no effect or possibly a protective effect on mortality. And then with regards to weight loss and insulin sensitivity, there does appear to be a pretty consistent benefit to dairy intake, especially under caloric restricted conditions. They see improved fat loss, improved lean body mass retention, sometimes and depends on the study, and improved bone mineral density, and improved insulin sensitivity. So this idea that dairy is unhealthy for you, I mean, the only argument I could really make for that is if you were somebody who was very prone to prostate cancer, and that only assumes these studies showing a small correlation of prostate cancer with dairy, that that is because it's something specific to the dairy versus just the saturated fat intake. Now, I'm not making claims and saying that it's definitely the saturated fat intake and not the dairy, but I have my doubts. Regardless, if you're not somebody who's predisposed to that, it appears that overall, dairy is pretty darn healthy for you. People who have higher intakes of dairy tend to be leaner, stronger, less fat, better bone mineral density, better insulin sensitivity. I think that's a pretty good deal. But if you don't like dairy, you have an ethical argument against it, fine, don't eat dairy. You don't have to. But just don't make a bunch of nonsense about it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go have a block of cheese. Catch you later.